I'm going to put clips, we're going to play them, I'm going to stop them bit through each one and we're going to put numbers on them and then you in the comments at home are going to interact with me and say yes you're right Dreza or yes you're wrong Dreza or no you're wrong Dreza blah 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 and have your little description and you can literally put number one or whatever video you actually have a, an opinion on and let us know below so yeah let's go a car pulls up and they right for one a car pulls up yes but it looks like it's speeding but if you look at the water and the boats, they are going so fast. Naturally, boats and water don't move that fast, especially on the dock. So you look closely, you can see the water rippling too much and the boats rocking basically too fast. So they're not running, they're actually walking, but someone sped it up to make it look like they're running. So watch this. Here to take something out of the car. Look at the ripples in the water. Run into the Look at the ripples in the water. You can actually see they're just going too fast. They just go like that. Waves go like that, especially near the the docks and stuff like that. The boat together. So people are wondering if this boats don't rock side to side that fast. It's a slow pace. So I'm just letting you know that. So we'll go into another video. So that's number one. This gang may be the group of criminals that took a group of men. So when the guy, obviously it's Joseph Morris, and he says, oh, the group of guys took Jay, blah, blah, blah. We don't know. It's just three guys. There's, there's 100 boats there. People might just live on the boats. People, that's how, that's how other countries live. Even if you go to the bottom of London and Dover, you'll probably see boats there and hundreds of people on the boats every day. People live on the boats. So I class that as a debunk. It's not true. That's just a normal day life. So let's go on to the next one. So, I don't believe someone's going to record inside the Airbnb as an audio. I think this was made later on, or it's just a clip that someone's got, clipped it, turned it into an MP3 audio, and then put it over something like this, because it, it doesn't seem legit to say this was at the Airbnb. So, I debunk, I debunk that. That's number two. See, stuff like this, when people put this stuff on saying Ayub's gone to Somalia, he is Somalian himself. Somaliland is where he's gone back to. And people do have family and people need to stop pushing the agenda of they're gone on the run, blah, blah, blah. Because you're pushing the wrong agenda to the people. He's gone on holiday or he's gone on the run, right? He's got whatever you want to say, right? He's gone over there. If he goes over there indefinitely, remember, he is a Somali land citizen at the end of the day. So he doesn't need a visa to go over there. So he doesn't have that 90 day thing. So if he comes back to the UK, then right, that's fine. If he goes over there, he might just be fucking pissed off that everyone's burning his head out. And he can't even live his life without being watched 24-7. Where over there is just another member of public and he's not looked at like is 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 this or that so we have to look and wait to the future don't just pin stuff on people without knowing because they're saying yes he was the last person to see jay but so was Ophelia. so was whoever we don't know until we know so that's what we need to see so let's carry on Right guys, videos like this again, this is not Jay, you can 100% see it's not Jay, he's about 10 years younger than Jay, he's probably about 14, 15, and just because he's got white trainers on, people go on holiday and take two to three pairs of trainers, a couple of flip flops, whatever, I don't know how long he went on holiday for, I'm not really fussed about that, 
obviously we're just getting through the ins and outs of this and debunking these videos so this is another video i debunk hey guys i just want to show you something and then i'm going to ask you a question afterwards okay so forget about the captions on the video right it's not my video so i'm not responsible for that i'm going to ask you a question okay not a statement before you jump on my back just a question that it doesn't reflect my belief or my opinion or my academic view i just want to know your opinion does this strike you as a loving mother who's just traumatically lost her beloved son in a tragic accident or does it strike you as a mother who's just got a windfall of cash and is living it up because she knows really her son is safe and well this video from bobs and bits 111 there's a catch-22 moment on this one because depending where the person lives and how sad it is for the terms and conditions of Jay's gone missing and the way he's gone missing and the way he's been found, yes, it's not a dance, feely vibe thing. You wouldn't really do that. But on the national, in council estate areas where people have to enjoy this type of vibe by doing it that way because of the friends that they associated with if the family is more family orientated then yes but it seems that jay come from a broken family obviously the mom, mother and father are not together two different families the family split up and it seems that they've gone through a transition of Jay's been through crime, um, he's been through, he's got friends that party, he's a party animal. So the mother has automatically been to all these places beforehand, before Jay was probably even thought of or born, or when he was younger, Tenerife, Benidorm. They, Warren and Debbie look like they used to party. So it's within them to party, so we can't really judge on the fact that yeah, she shouldn't be doing that, but we can't judge on the fact that, why not? Obviously, yeah, she got, your son has been missing and lost in a disgusting, vile way. But, we have to go on with it. So, this one is a 50-50. Bob's and Bits is right, but on another hand, he is wrong, depending on the background of the person who you're speaking to. So, we have to put that into consideration as well. Let's move on. Just a short video to confirm that this is my account. Uh, the keys that I found do belong to Down the Rapids guy. I found them at the end of the path. Uh, I haven't been back. This was a bit confusing when I watched it first because when he said Down the Rapids guy, I thought, or oh, we all thought, Paul was in with the family and he was speaking to the family but it seems warren was more clued up because you would speak if you had respect for someone you would speak and say paul the person who's down the rapids the one who helped look for jay but he said down the rapids guy and when down the rapids said he f someone's found some keys from pedro or found pedro's keys he also said someone. So it's like Paul down the rapids didn't have respect for Warren and the family. Because if he knew Warren found the keys, because he just said if he picked the keys up himself at the end of the the whatever, at the end of the path. But he also said down the rapids guy. So for you to say that it means that you had you both didn't have mutual respect, so they probably didn't agree with each other when they was over there, but Warren probably knew down the rapids was a bit snaky. That's the reason why he's saying down the rapids guy, but he has to confirm it because of the people that are listening and commenting and stuff like that. So yeah, let's go on to the next one. People are saying he looks left out this is another pushing an agenda. They just stood there. Obviously, 
It doesn't mean they're being left out. He might have just jumped out the pool. He might have done something. He might have just been waiting or whatever. But you can't just make an issue. Like, you can't just make a mountain out of a molehill. It doesn't make sense to say this. So, he looks left out. Honestly, breaks my heart. So, this is another account that probably just made an issue for nothing. And then it got the backs of 2,000 people liked it. So I'm guessing over 100,000 probably viewed it. So you got to look at that as well. So you can't just put pictures on wordings or wordings on pictures. Let's go carry on. <laughs> so a video like this comparing ears, you can tell that's not Jay Slate. I mean, you can tell that's not Tom Hilton. By far, it's not Tom Hilton. Tom Hilton is just looks more stockier as a person, but showing an ear and then trying to show another ear on another picture, and it's the pixels. It's like a two hundred and forty p. At least give when you give some evidence like this, you need to be throwing in ten eighty p's, four k receipts of facts. You can't just throw stuff like that. It's the ear. Does it even look? That's that that last picture there. It doesn't even you can't even see the ear. How can you how can you compare them things? It doesn't make sense. People need to stop doing stuff like this. My head, I wanna drown my sorrow. No tomorrow. No to my head. Like this as well. What you showing? <laughs> what you showing? People that do stuff like this and just make bullshit up. It's just it's just weird. It's a shadow on a floor. On rocks. That's it. End of. Don't try and zoom into things because if you're gonna go into Google Maps, it's not gonna be on Google Maps. Google Maps are about ten years old and they get updated once every billion years. Something like Tenerife now probably get updated every twenty years. Probably have never even been updated since the since I was a kid, so people need to look at that as well. Is this Jay Slate? If you zoomed in, mate. See this? <laughs> people, I can't deal with people in this world that do that. What? A grey T-shirt? You can't even see nothing. Oh, poof. Looking at the mountains, are we here? Right. I don't know why you're saying looking up at the mountains. I've, you know what? Over everything I've seen, even though Ayub is one of the main people in the whole case, he may just be doing it just for the clout. We don't know that. So. For you to make an, an issue saying looking up at the mountains, I don't see no mountains there. I see palm trees, a couple of trees, and the back of an hotel. That's it. So, you, anyone instigating to say looking up at the mountains, come on. You need to bring proof and facts and common sense when you're showing these things, guys. Come on. Be real, man. So guys, I seen this video yesterday, right? And when I so when someone sent it me, I did tell them the audio on the music has been turned down and you can't hear it here, but on the other video that I got sent, you could hear the audio and it had subtitles. So I told the person that no, that has been genetically modified to make the audio sound like what they were sounding like because the music around the actual music playing from the dj deck actually lowered so you could hear the voice 
and then it also went back up when the voice that is you know like stopped so at that point i thought yeah that's been made up as in a place where you're listening to music the audio what you're speaking would stay the same and so would the dj uh, music so you can't the dj is not going to turn it down just so you can hear your voice or your phone or whatever you're using to listen to this sound and then turn back up afterwards it doesn't make sense so you have to shout loud you can't just talk normally in a club and think the phone's going to hear you because it won't it might hear mumbling but it won't hear actual words the video i got sent you could actually hear some of the words and i thought yeah that's fake so yeah so guys that was the end of the video if you enjoyed it and want to see more videos like this a little debunking trip then let us know below if you see the videos that i've just played and you see it as a debunk or you feel it's true let us know below but yeah if you've not got me on tiktok go over there dreezy dem go over subscribe or follow now subscribe to this one like the video comment share whatever you want to do dreezy dem out